Hello, welcome to First Sight. We are open. My name's Sally Shaw. I'm going to give you a tour of the whole building and everything that's on. I'm going to put my mask on. Come on in. So when you come in, you'll notice a few new things. We've got an amazing exhibition of sculptures by Phila de Barlow. Our shop is open as always, and you can sanitise your hands just to the left here. You can make a donation, that would be great. And when you come in, we really need you to sign in to our track and trace system. The other change you'll notice is that we've moved our cafe from the front of the building to the back into our really beautiful restaurant area. It's a really, really lovely place to come and have a cup of tea, a slice of cake, some lunch. You can sit outside on the balcony in the sunshine, and it's just another reason to come to First Sight and spend time here. You don't need to book, just turn up. We've got loads of great films for the cinema. We've got some brand new releases. We've got some old classics, and we've got a really lovely range of family films. To book, just go online or give us a call. For the fourth year in a row, we are running our holiday fun programme, which is free to all families. Just go to the website for details. So the team have been really hard at work during lockdown, listening to what you told us in our survey and we've completely transformed all the exhibition spaces with brand new exhibitions. We've got a wonderful new set of paintings by Sonia Cood Adams made during lockdown. We've extended our Afro Futures exhibition. We've got a brand new massive show by the Colchester and Ipswich Art Societies with over 120 new works in it that have been all made in the area, all by local artists. And then the real star of our programme is our next Arts Council collection exhibition, Tell Me the Story of All These Things. It's been curated by the most incredible group of women from the local area. It's all about empowerment, it's about rethinking society, it's about female experience and emotional intelligence, and it's the perfect exhibition to come and see right now.